So picture someone coming up to your booth and you telling them, hey, anything that you write on the screen, I can engrave in seconds on any of my products. Have you ever wanted to personalize a product on site? Think cutting board at a craft fair, add someone's name to it to make it one of a kind. I've always thought this would be a really, really cool selling angle. We're gonna test this out today. I've got the Laser Pecker 4 here in the shop and we're gonna test this scenario out and more with this laser. So what do you say we unpack this pecker? All right, so I'm gonna scan this. I'm just gonna get started here. Yeah, the App Store, Laser Pecker Design Space. All right, this looks like the base here. Okay, so here is, this is the laser itself. Hopefully it's easy. That's cool, everything's labeled really nice in here. So we've been running some tests after we've got the laser pecker assembled. It took 15 minutes to assemble, really quick. I showed you a couple shots of it, but honestly, there's only three parts that need to go together. Really simple. So there's actually two different lasers within this one laser, which is another really cool feature of it. So you can engrave metal. This is just a, an aluminum um, kind of business card. I engraved my knife here with the laser pecker logo. And then we did some basic wood tests. I am really impressed with what's going on here. We're doing some really, really cool things. So we're gonna head out and do the test. We're gonna leave the garage and take this laser with me and do some really cool tests. Let's go. So we're here in my local park at a random uh, picnic table, power supply, got the laser pecker here and my phone, these three things. Now I'm doing this to simulate going to a craft show. They actually have craft shows at different times of the year in this park. Setting the scene, we're at a craft show and you wanna personalize an item that you sell. So let's say you sell um, a cutting board or something along those lines. It is a huge advantage if you have other people there you're competing with, to be able to put a custom saying or a, cust or a name on a piece and make it personal. I think this is super, super powerful. So we're gonna test this out. I've got a couple items here that we're going to engrave and show that this is physically possible. So how do exactly do I have this set up? Well, I have my mobile power station right here, power bank charged up. Um, it has, it needs AC power. So I've got that working. Everything's working there. And then all I need is my phone. So we literally just have three pieces. You can, you saw me carry it out here. Uh, and my phone is connected via uh, Bluetooth. So something that I really, really want to highlight is the functionality of this app and what you're able to do just simply from your phone. Again, I know I'm going overboard here, but I just wanna test the limits and have some fun and see what we can create. So we're gonna do that now. So here's the scenario for this test. I've got this serving board here, just wooden serving board that I bought locally for this test. And the idea is, is that we're selling these at a craft show, but someone wants their name on it. Now you can extrapolate this to any product, right? Anything that anybody wants their name on. Well, in the app here, uh, you can go to, you can put text on anything. You can type like normal, but you can also go to painting. So what you can do is you can have them uh, write their name with their finger and put it on any piece to make it their own. So we're gonna put this to the test. We're gonna write a name and engrave it on this board. Okay, so we didn't know it was gonna, it literally did that in th two seconds. So we're gonna do it again. I'm gonna 
engrave a little bit deeper. So we're gonna repeat this and we can change some parameters here. <laughs> that is crazy. So picture someone coming up to your booth and you telling them, hey, anything that you write on the screen, I can engrave in seconds on any of my products. Look at that. That is my handwriting that I just wrote on the screen from concept to finished product, literally a minute. So you wouldn't keep people waiting. Personalization, that is super powerful. You can even put names from the kids' names. That is a one-of-a-kind personalized gift that can sell really, really well. All right, so this leaf is gonna work really well. And this is a leaf we just picked off a tree and we're gonna use it. So we pull it in here and there's a lot of different ways you can change it, brightness, contrast, dithering, invert, uh, a lot of different functionality in here, but we're gonna go to pencil. I think that looks pretty good. We want the defined edge. There we go. All right, so that looks good. We're gonna crop it and get rid of the hand and the bottom here. So where we only have left is the leaf. Then we're gonna go next. Size-wise, we're looking here. So this is where we're gonna put the leaf. We're gonna put it on the center of this centerpiece, center tray, it has a brass finish on it. Uh, and this leaf is gonna look really good because as Andrew, cameraman Andrew pointed out, it doesn't have any defined edges. So we're gonna try to get it uh, put in here as close to the center as we can, but it's just gonna look organic. Yes, like I said earlier, there's two lasers in here, a diode laser that we're traditionally used to uh, that marks the wood. And then this one is gonna be the other laser in, built in here that uh, marks and engraves uh, metal. So we're gonna engrave this, this leaf on metal. Maximum, is a, maximum size is 104 millimeters. So we're gonna do it the max size possible. All right, so we're gonna change this. So the wood was engraved on 450 nm, and the metal is gonna be engraved on 1064 nm. We're gonna change our depth back down say to 10%, confirm. All right, we're ready to send this. All right, so we're previewing where this is gonna be. We're gonna kind of put it towards, we'll put it in the middle from side to side and then the top, but there is a limit because we don't ha currently have the extension on it, but uh, they do make an extension where you could do larger items and it, it basically gets rid of the limit of what you can do. Now you could, it would take longer but you could change the depth so it would slow down the speed. So I did this at 25 on wood. I moved this to 10. Um, we did that black card at five, but you could actually like physically engrave more. Um, you obviously slow down the speed, right? That's just so crazy though. Like we literally just took that picture off a leaf of a tree. So we've got some time while this is engraving and it got me thinking how cool this is, back to this, uh, this text. So you could engrave a bunch of these ahead of time at home and put mommy or daddy on something, but that's not the same as handing an iPad uh, or a piece of paper uh, and a pen to a kid and saying, hey, write a message to your mom and I can put that on this serving board for you and uh, for a Mother's Day gift or for a Christmas gift or something like that. It's in the kid's handwriting. They recognize the handwriting. That is very significant and a high emotional connection, which we know 99% of purchases are emotional purchases. So like I am drooling over this. This is such a powerful thing. Um, the reason I said a piece of paper, you saw me write on with my finger. That may be difficult to get a good look. Uh, but I was sitting here talking and, and thinking that you could actually hand them a white piece of paper and have them draw a picture or draw whatever, write whatever they wanted, and then take a picture of it with your phone and do the cropping and everything that I just did with this leaf and engrave it that way. So it might be, it might be a much more natural way to collect a signature or a picture or something like that. Um, this is a super powerful uh, business, uh, uh, business plan, business idea. It's a winner. 
All right, let's see what this looks like. Okay, it's a little bit light. So I had it on 100% power, uh, but only 10% depth, which would, if I increased the depth, would increase the runtime, uh, but it would engrave a lot more. Uh, here, you can physically feel it. It's definitely, it's definitely indent, indenting, but that looks really cool. Now, again, the workflow here is I, I took a leaf off the tree, took a picture of it, just using this equipment right here, edited it and put it on this brass. So that's really, really cool. The fact that you can take it from a tree, app, mobile power, we're at a craft fair in the park and put a, a something, something on uh, metal. Really, really cool. So with this setup, we have proven that you can laser engrave anything, anywhere. We've got wood, we've got metal, we're in a park. But the whole premise of this video was, can we laser engrave on demand at a craft fair? Now, there's some other concerns that you're probably thinking of. Uh, what about like ventilation? Uh, what about uh, the time it takes? What about the products? What about customization? What about finishing the product? Do we need to put anything over this to finish it? There's still concerns that you know can all be worked through in every scenario uh, as far as what product, they can have uh, different solutions. But let me know down in the comments, what is your biggest concern with this premise of taking this setup to a craft fair and engraving things, personalizing products on site? Let me know down in the comments. Uh, but the whole point of this video is to prove the concept that we can be mobile when we laser. And the power of personalization is super, super powerful when it comes to selling the things that we make. So you may be wondering, what about the Laser Pecker 4? Like, okay, Andy, it's mobile, but what if I wanted to use it at home? What are you impressed with? What do you, what do you don't like? Well, first of all, it has two different kinds of lasers where you can engrave both. Basically a, fi a scaled down fiber laser and a diode laser that were, that's a lot more common. But the thing that I'm most impressed with is the app. The fact that I can do everything from my phone via Bluetooth is what makes all of this possible. I don't have my laptop out here. I don't have to have a Y, or I don't have to be connected to a Wi-Fi network to connect to this. It's Bluetooth. I'm connected uh, via, I'm connected to the internet through my mobile phone. And I have a mobile power bank that has 84% left by the way. And we have engraved for more than an hour. So I couldn't be more impressed with the abilities of this laser combined with their app than I am. Now, I am a little late to the scene with the Laser Pecker 4. The Laser Pecker 5 is coming out very soon. So here's a little footage of the Laser Pecker 5. It's gonna be very similar to this, more power, um, but there'll be an announcement for that soon. And that is a testament to Laser Pecker as a company to keep iterating and making their products better. So. Thank you to Laser Pecker for sending this out and letting me review and test this theory. I hope I see more laser engraving on site uh, in the future at craft shows. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.